I want to talk to you about why I stopped pursuing my print on demand business. And well, I kind of dabble on it a bit, but I wanna, I wanna tell you why, because I feel like a lot of you think based on the videos that I'm bringing out so often that I do print on demand every single day. And I actually wanna tell you the real story behind my print on demand, when I did it, why I did it, and why I stopped doing it, and what I moved to, and also what my plan is moving forward. What my, cause I just, there's a lot that's happening at the moment, especially with everything going on with, you know. So there's a lot going on, and I wanna tell you what my plan is, and as well as that, I wanna, tell you about videos that people wanted me to make about print on demand which just sound like so much fun and I just want to quickly say before I even start any of this I apologize for the lighting the sun is over there and I thought I'd do this video outside because it's just such a nice day today but being a videographer and a photographer I realized that that was a mistake because I can't control the lighting but whatever it will be nice so let's get started firstly we all know what needs to be done, all right? If you haven't already done it, you've got to smash the like button. Just, right? Smash that like button. Let's get this video to, I don't know, 100 likes. That's quite a lot of likes. Let's get this video to 40 likes. That was a bit of a drastic change there. And if you haven't already subscribed, well, why not? What is stopping you from subscribing? Let me know in the comments. And if you're not leaving comments, because chances are, if you haven't subscribed, you're definitely not leaving a comment. What can I do? My subscribers, I have to say, are shooting up and it's all down to you guys watching these videos and sharing them, whatever you're doing with them. But I really, really appreciate all the love I'm getting because I'm seeing my subscriber rate go way up. Like every single day I'm getting more and more and it means so, so much. And it really helps me actually create content because stuff takes ages to do and yeah. Anyway, anyway, let's just get on with the video, shall we? So if anyone is watching if anyone watched the previous video I did about my print on demand story, right, it, it's this one, right, here's the screenshot. If anyone watched this, this video, I want you to know that this, that was like part of my story and I want to kind of like finish that story for you. And I've written my story out on my computer here because the last thing I want to do to you is just randomly blag. And when you tell a story, that's what happens. You randomly blag. Um, see, that's the thing when you teach you get straight to the point. But when you're telling a story, you have to try and make sure you don't go off topic, which is why I've got my notes here. So anyway, I thought it was time I finished telling you that story. So let's get to it. In 2014, I was pretty much solely focused on print on demand. It was my main, main business. It's what I pretty much did all the time. And then the dates might be a bit off. I, like my memory's not amazing. Uh, well, sometimes it is, but whatever. So I can't guarantee the dates are gonna be perfect. But around 2014, that's when I was doing print on demand full time. And I was working on it constantly, pushing out like five plus designs every single day. And there was only about three or four months that I fully, fully focused on it. And then the rest of the year, I kind of dabbled on it a bit. I started in January, around January time, and I just went way into it I hit it hard so many designs and then that lasted about three or four months and then I started getting really bored um, and I'm I'm I've got mad ADHD so when I start getting bored of a business I kind of move on to another business and I was getting really really bored and I was kind of phasing it out and only doing a few designs maybe one a week and anyone who does print on demand knows that if you do one design a week the the success rate of your designs will drastically go down because it's like they people say it's one in ten and I kind of agree it's one in ten designs that are successful and when I was doing five plus a day I was seeing success every single day and then when I went down to doing one a, one like a week one every two weeks one a month I wasn't seeing as much success so I was kind of getting demotivated to do it so I thought I, I, I just I lost so much interest in it then around September time I came home at the time I was living with my parents I hadn't bought my flat yet um, I came home and I saw my brother, who is now my business partner in Amazon, but I saw my brother sitting there watching some training videos and I was like, what's up? And he was like, not much, what's up? And I was like, not much, what's up? <laughs> Sorry. And anyway, he kind of told me he was, he was watching about this, this, this thing called Amazon FBA. I mean, we all knew what Amazon was, but he was watching a, a, a video about how we could sell on Amazon FBA and it was really interesting. And he said to me, do you want to potentially do this? And I was like, 
I was at the time looking for any excuse to get out of print on demand. And look, I'm not telling you now to not do print on demand. Wait till the end of the video, you'll see how it all comes back around. There's a full 360, it's really interesting. But um, I, at that time, around September 2014, I was looking for any excuse to get out of print on demand. And the reason I was still doing it is because I need money. Um, but I really want to get out of it. And so when he told me about this opportunity with Amazon, I was like, I'll look into it, why not? I watched a few videos and it's safe to say I got absolutely hooked. It was just so fascinating designing a product because I'd come from designing t-shirts, but it was so fascinating finding a product, designing something that was better than the competition, putting our own logo and branding on it and then selling on Amazon and actually building a company because print on demand was fun, but it was, it was like you couldn't forecast, you couldn't plan, you made random amounts of money every single month when you had a successful t-shirt and sometimes you didn't. Some months I made 20 grand, some months I made nothing, some months I made two grand, some months I made 40 grand. Like it was, it was all just, it was just, it was all over the place. And I just thought what would be more amazing than actually having a brand and building a brand that you could eventually sell one day because with print on demand, it's not really a brand behind it. It's just randomly niched t-shirts that I've researched and did well. Um, so I was just, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this Amazon thing. It sounds like such fun. But don't worry, this isn't an Amazon video. This is not me telling you all about my Amazon story. This is me telling you about my print on demand story. So I'm gonna fast forward a lot. So let's fast forward a couple of years and my gosh, it's been a few mental years. I've traveled to 20 plus countries. I've bought a few cars that I absolutely loved and really wanted to buy for a long time. I bought my flat and that's all from Amazon really. And and and. I mean, it's been a mental, mental ride, but here I am, 2020, in the garden, thinking, do I wanna be going back into print on demand? Because I've now got so much more time. My Amazon business is pretty much running itself, and I'm thinking it was actually fun when I was doing it and I was successful at it, so why not get back into it? I know so, so much about the business, and I don't wanna toot my own horn is the sentence but I know so much about the print on demand business and I know um, as well as I've also designed things throughout the years just like things here and there and had a bit of success here and there um, but I've got so much knowledge when it comes to Facebook advertising when it comes to designing when it comes to actually building a print on demand business and at this point in time I'm, I'm just thinking of all these different businesses I can get into like property and photography and print on demand and art and all these other things that I want to get into so yeah, I think it's like 2014, 2020, it's six years later, got a full 360 and kind of probably getting back into the print on demand game, which is kind of fun. So, a few things I wanna tell you about this. I wanna tell you though, I haven't, I haven't been working on this full time. I haven't been working on this properly for the last couple of years. So I wanted to, I wanted to create this sort of disclaimer part of this video to tell you all the videos that I have, that I have done about print on demand have all been facts, right? They've all been very, very factual based on proof, based on things I have done. I only, only, only will teach what I know works and have tested. I absolutely hate when people teach a subject they've never done themselves or teach a subject that they don't really know anything about, which is why I strive to actually research and do, do a business before I create a video about it. Um, but, I, but I do feel inclined that I, I want to tell you that I haven't been working on print on demand. So if any of you think I've got a big, big, big print on demand business now, I don't. Um, I haven't worked on print on demand for a long, long time. Um, I've, I've dabbled here and there and I've, I've stayed on top of the articles and the blog posts and the training um, with it because why not? Like I've stayed on top of Facebook, Facebook advertising and, and designing t-shirts and marketing these t-shirts. I stayed on top of that, I just never did it. Um, well, I did do it, but I haven't done it in the last couple of years. Um, so I just wanted everyone to be aware of that um, so that you didn't think I was misleading you because that's the last thing I wanted to do. Um, but on top of that, all the previous videos I've done on print on demand have all been factual, have all been tested and proven. And I mean, in my mind, they've been absolutely brilliant. And uh, yeah, I've got a lot of love from them and I really, really appreciate that. It means a lot. So, so yeah, I mean, a, a lot of people have been asking me to build a course for them, a print on demand course. And I think that might be a step too far at the moment. Um, making a video on YouTube is one thing, but I, I don't feel comfortable making a course just yet. I want to have gotten back into the business and earn maybe at least two or three or maybe even 4,000 a month from it before I decide I wanna make a course just because 
ethically I don't feel it's right to make a course unless I am making a serious amount of money from it. So that is why I think I'm going to be getting back into it because a lot of people want a course and I do have a lot of knowledge to share and technically I could make a course and give it to you guys um, but I just wouldn't feel comfortable about it. Right, so let me know in the comments down what you think about me actually making a course about print on demand. Um, in my own mind, I feel like I want to I want to be doing it myself a lot before making a course. Um, but tell me what you think. Do you think do you think the same, or do you think no? Just share your current knowledge um, and build a course for us. We want to see it now, or would you prefer to wait a few months, three months, four months? I don't know six months um, to for me to build the business up, build a following of some sort, and actually get sales before starting to make the course. So yeah, I mean, that's the that's the story kind of. I, I wanted everyone to know the exact story of what was going on. So my main focus now is my Amazon FBA business, my consulting business, my um, like my odd jobs that I, I, I do here and there, my hustle, side hustles. And on top of that, I think I'm gonna start going back into print on demand. So that is what is going on in my life at the moment. And all these print on demand videos are based on things I have done, based on research I'm currently doing, things I've learned and all of that and I just like to bring it to you in a more concise straight to the point manner unlike this video where I feel like I'm not getting to the point anyway I've been also asked by a few people and I think I'm going to do this because it just sounds like so much fun to do a journey video of zero to a thousand dollars or zero to something on creating a t-shirt marketing the t-shirt and selling that t-shirt and I actually thought that was a lot of fun so I think I'm going to make that video and I don't know when it's going to come out because it obviously will take a while to get back to there to making a few thousand every single month um, but that is in my plan to do that and uh, and now that like I said now that I have more time because my Amazon business basically runs itself I thought I could get back into print on demand and bring you guys along for the journey because what better way would it be if you to guys come along with the come along on the journey than for me to kind of start this from scratch but not really because I've got all the knowledge there but to see me doing this as I go along so that's what I thought I thought I'd get back into it well I plan get back into it I've got to make this whole plan on paper and really think this through but get back into it and bring you guys along the way when I made that first print on demand video I had no inclination to get back into print on demand but I didn't realize how much love it would get I think it's got something like 12,000 views and then all my print on demand videos are getting so many views more than any other view any other videos on my channel and it's making me realize so many people want to learn about print on demand and you gotta give the people what they love so um, so that's kind of why I'm thinking about going back into it because so many of you guys want to do it it's a much easier business than Amazon it's a much faster quicker monetary like monetary business than Amazon like you get quick cash from it kind of again it's not a get rich quick scheme they do not exist and there's a lot of failure there's a lot of money wasted but it's definitely a business a lot more people are more interested in than Amazon so I thought why not get back into it so I guess I'm gonna be getting back into a new old business really it's gonna be exciting I hope this video made sense. I hope you were able to follow it. Um, just a, key, a few key takeaways before I end it is, one, I did print on demand in 2014 and I made a ton of money from it. Two, towards the end of 2014, I decided, well, I was getting really bored with it and I did Amazon. Three, I made a ridiculous amount of money from Amazon. I traveled lots of countries. I bought a few cars. I, uh, well, at different times, I bought my flat and I probably spent too much money and I shouldn't have. And number four, now that Amazon is running itself and I've got a tiny bit more free time, depending on how these YouTube videos go, um, number four is, yeah, that. Maybe I'll get back into, maybe I'll get back into print on demand. And number five, I've decided to try and focus more on my YouTube because it's really getting there. Like I'm so close to 10,000 subscribers and I want to bring you guys a whole horde of new videos, credit card videos, property videos, Amazon videos, making money online with Fiverr videos, print and demand videos. And my mind is buzzing with videos. I want to get back into doing product research videos for you every single morning. Um, so that's going to be a big one. So there's a lot going on at the moment. And like I said, I've got a tiny bit of extra time uh, and um, I thought I would use that time for print on demand. So that's, that's, that, that was the, the video in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed the story. Like I said, if you haven't already smashed the like button, please give it a smash, give it a, a thumbs up, whatever you wanna do. And uh, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what your story is. Let me know what you think about this video. If you're angry at all that I've been preaching about print on demand, I apologize. 
Um, but again, I have to reiterate, the videos that I have made on print on demand are all tested facts. They're not, I didn't just think, these things will help people with a uh, print on demand and I think I'm gonna make a video on it. No, I always tested. I, I never wanted to uh, just preach because I told you I hate that. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this video. I'm looking forward to seeing you in maybe tomorrow's video, maybe Tuesday's video, who knows? But yeah, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing, for liking and for staying with me along this whole journey. You know who you are, uh, leaving comments every single video. I really, really appreciate it and it means so much. And I can't believe that my YouTube channel is actually getting to a point where I'm getting comments every single video and I'm getting views. I remember when I used to get 10 views, 20 views, 30 views, get zero comments, zero likes and having a channel like this, I know it's still small, but it means a lot and I really appreciate it. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next.